The Wind Peak Inn features the finest bard in all of Dawnstar. Me. How are things going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with Skyrim adventures and videos posted on my YouTube channel. I thank you all for watching, and I'm hoping you are sticking with it and enjoying this because, yeah, I do enjoy playing Skyrim. This next video is waking nightmare and it's a, a mission you can start once you go to dawnstar and enter the wind peak inn and meet a um cleric of a certain de uh, demon or whatever the heck they have that are the bad guys or evil um how shall we say gods of skyrim but I digress. Um, let's get on with this mission, Waking Nightmare. This mission begins when you enter the Wind Peak Inn. You'll see people having a conversation, and it's about nightmares. Yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erandur. Listen to your friend, Fuki. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. Now you need to talk to Erendur, the guy in the robes, in order to activate the mission. And you can go right away or you can go later, but once you talk to him and accept the mission, then it starts. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. In any other circumstance, I'd agree with you. However, these aren't normal dreams. The Daedric Lord Vermina's voracious hunger for memories is responsible for these visions. The nightmares are an echo of her presence as she feeds. Our need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Must follow Aaron Dewar up to Nightcrawler Temple or whatever, Nightcrawler Temple. And, well, it's going to be a long walk and a slow walk. So I'm going to fast forward through the walk. And eventually, I mean, you'll get there. You can, again, start the mission and move on and then meet him at the temple later. But if you follow him now, you can get to the temple, and if you want to, you could walk away and do something else. I just chose to do the entire mission all at once.
once you get to the temple, it's guarded by um, leveled c creatures. The lower, if you have a lower level, it'll be spiders. If you have a higher level than my current character, it'll probably be frost trolls. Right now, it's ice wraiths, which, yeah, my character can easily handle. And Eradur is throwing fireballs, which doesn't really help. Now, once you have killed the ice wraith, you can enter the temple and follow Erendur. warn you about the dangers that could be lurking within. Years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Once we get inside, all will become clear. Yes, all will become clear. Follow Erendur into Nightcaller Temple, and you'll see a bunch of stuff scattered around, and there is a chest. You can use that chest to your advantage, because you're going to get a lot of equipment and a lot of magic weapons out of this temple. It's actually a very good mission to go into if you're willing to scour the temple, a novice lock, and I break a pick. Not a big deal. Yeah. Okay, a little bit more. And the lock is open. Some gold and robes. Like I said, you can dump stuff in this chest and go back and forth and unload things. Once Erendur opens up the temple with his magic flames, you can enter. Your 
Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Damn it! The priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Let's just say it's a long walk to the library. NPCs walk real slow in this game. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called the Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. If you'll check the shelves, are up. About if you're like me and are trying to collect all the robes of Vermina, um, yeah, they're really cool. You can make a cool character design. If you want to role play with the robes and do some other things, it's kind of great. You can enchant them, I believe, or not. Anyway, following the Dream Strider, you see these books on the podium. They're usually valuable. You can sell them for money. Might as well loot the place, right? Now, let's find the Dream Strider here. After you finish the mission, you get to keep the Dream Strider. To be honest with you, don't sell it. Just throw it on a shelf if you have a bookshelf where you're staying or store it. Because if you flip through it, it is actually kind of a neat, interesting book to read. I won't be reading it, but I'm taking a shortcut to Iriduro here and tell him, hey, I found the book. Yes, my son. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. The laboratory adjoins the library.
They've been dealt with. We need to find the torpor. It should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. The torpor should be in a tall bottle with dark. This laboratory is loaded with plenty of alchemy ingredients and other stuff. I'm going to fast forward through to where the character finds the torpor or whatever the heck it is. Yes, my... I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drink. Dawnstar's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Actually take the torpor, or tupor, or whatever the heck it is, torpor, right there and then, and go through the process. But the reality is I like to bring it to the area and unfortunately Eriduru, he's uh, dumb enough to walk backwards instead of take this shortcut. But there is a shortcut to the main area like right here. And again, Eriduru, whatever his name is, yeah, he's a slow walker, so I'm going to just fast forward through the whole process here. So, what is it I can help with? The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, Brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thor, we must remain here. You gotta walk your way through the entire temple in order to get to the one point where you set things off and set things in motion. I'm gonna fast forward through that because all it is is the temple priests battling orcs. worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. 
How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. Now you do a crawl through this temple to fight not only the priests, but the orcs, and I'm just going to fast forward through it. You can pick up a lot of treasure along the way. It might actually encumber you and drag you down. That's why you want to use that um, treasure chest in the beginning and dump a lot of stuff off and then move back and forth. Yes. The strongholds keep to themselves. Skyrim hasn't always been kind to the orcs. For an outsider like you to be accepted, an orc would have to make you blood kin and send word to the chiefs. Trust like that is not freely given. Never should have come here. Is that the best you can do? Actually, that was the first time something like that happened. I've gone through this temple multiple times and never had a conversation with an orcish invader. They've always gotten up and attacked. Well, we are almost near the end here, and I've been collecting all the um, Vermino robes. You should have 21 total at some point. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Take these and await me. This is why electrical damage or if you have a damage magic enchantment on a weapon comes in handy because most of the bad guys will start to wield magic and they can take you down pretty quickly. I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Yes, you're right. If they needed to die so that Dawnstar could live, then it was worth the price. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. It's your choice at this point, kill him or don't. I've done both. It really doesn't affect anything. All you get is a special weapon in the skull. Or with Aaron Dur, you end up with a follower that you can potentially use at some point, which I might do uh, 
another mission at a later date and show you that he does have his uses. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. In time, I believe I will. I'd construct an Amiga shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. If you've cleaned up most of the loot in this sanctuary and taken Vermina robes and stuff like that, you're probably going to be encumbered and there is going to be a problem with you walking. I get rid of certain stuff, but that's fine. You can take everything you've uh, picked up around here and dump them off at that chest and eventually, like I said, go back and forth and bring it to your uh, place where you're storing stuff or sell it and make money. It really doesn't matter. This mission is over and, well, you've seen it. It's kind of interesting if you play through it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I do four videos a week. And if you liked this video, hit the like button. If you really like the Skyrim videos and any other video game videos that I'm posting, well, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you will not miss out because the videos will be posted in your home feed. Uh, please feel free to leave comments. I like to reply to comments if I can, if they're nice or not spam comments, which I delete. I will reply to them. Again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.